Okay, I've decided to to keep this one going because the contacts are continuing and maybe this will help me keep my mind focused in the clearest way possible on this so that I can keep uh, or not keep so I can finally <laughs> maybe calm enough to really look into what's happening really look inside there and get some detail uh, I haven't talked about this before I haven't really felt ready um, I didn't want to talk about it prematurely because um, because I haven't been able to look into it calmly, because I haven't uh, uh, wanted to instill any fear in anyone. And I really hope that me doing this is not going to do that because, um, you know, this is all part of the process and this is what my whole channel is about. My whole channel is about sharing with you the process that a conscious mind goes through during an awakening, during its expansion out beyond the physical terrain. So, here we go. This has been happening for a long time. This has been happening since uh, childhood, but not as clearly as it has been happening the past few years. Um, there is something that begins happening with me at the onset of many nights, uh, you know, between the hours of, say, 11 p.m. and 1 or 2. After this, the, the events change. The type of out-of-body experiences that I have, you know, completely change. It's more... Uh, school learning guides coming into reality systems that uh, other uh, members of my soul family are, are living in and sort of getting to know them it's it's more fun but <laughs> but at the onset of the night this is the rough stuff this is the stuff that's harder for me to stay conscious through and um, calm enough in to really look inside of. I, I generally, mm, from fright, scurry away into unconsciousness. But I am aware that it's happening. You know, I do, I, I am brought alert and given the opportunity to uh, calmly <clears throat> look into what's happening. I just, I haven't been able to yet. I really want to. I do feel ready. And so, anyway, hopefully... <sighs> Hopefully this is going to start to help me get there. So at the onset of the night, there are um, shifts into the etheric version of my room where there are beings here with me with energetic signatures very different to my own uh, that I experience as very different to my own. And... Um, you know, therefore, uh, the feeling is rather frightful for me. You know, it would be, it would maybe be something along the lines, just to give you something that perhaps those of you who don't OBE can relate to, um, you know, coming away and discovering there was an alligator, a real live alligator, <laughs> <laughs> they're in your room with you. I'm just, I'm trying to come up with a, a sort of creature that, um, you know, is very different to yourself and has a very different energy signature to yourself and that, you know, you really don't know how to respond or relate to. You don't know why it's there or what it's doing or what it might do, you know, if you go into fear. <laughs> you know, like this. But anyway, during, during this time of night, uh, things are being done to the, the physical system. Mm. It generally is not pleasant. The, the 
tangible sensations that I feel um, uh, in my mind and through the body system um, well are just generally what I will label as not pleasant you know uh, maybe sort of like going to get your teeth cleaned you know without any sort of numbing <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not awful. It's it's not you know, um, you know, like having surgery without anesthesia. But yeah, again, maybe something more like you know, getting your teeth cleaned or I don't know, pap smear. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to come up with something for you here. Um. I really would like to be able to look into this clearly for some detail. I am going to do that. I am being given the opportunity to hear now, and so I'm just taking full advantage by doing uh, this video and maybe keeping this going as a, as a series as the contacts continue so I can you know, put through sort of in a, uh, a rapid sort of succession uh, what I do discover. Detail one is we'll keep our fingers crossed on that one. So they were here again the other night, whoever they is. Uh, there's just this sort of, yeah you know, feeling through my, my body system. I, I feel these three distinct needling points, you know, like needles being stuck in you. You know, it doesn't hurt, but you definitely, I mean, it doesn't hurt beyond, you know, anything unimaginable, but, you know, you can feel it and it's not pleasant. And I feel this, you know, uh, at the front top portion of my head here, just, just above the hairline. And, you know, coming into the awareness that they were here and, you know, the sensations I was feeling <laughs> was about all my central nervous system would let through. It wasn't letting through any detail, although I did try, 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 try for a few quick moments to get some detail. But, you know, my central nervous system wouldn't let it through and I, I fell off into unconsciousness. A little bit later, my dog had to get up to pee and, you know, I, I let him outside and went pee myself and when I got back in bed you know very rapidly you know the next set of stuff begins but now it's about 2 30 in the morning so this is when you know the, the sort of the change of shifts comes on you know different sorts of energies and beings come through um, or you know different layers you know more inner more layers more mm, pleasantly felt layers <laughs> come through uh, the thing is that recently I'm starting to glean a little bit of perhaps why, but, but not much, so I won't put it through right now. Recently I've began experiencing things um, very physically, much more physically than I normally do. And I think that, you know, that's the terrain, the physical etheric you know, area that that's the terrain that I'm I'm needing to get through, that I'm needing to make discovery in, and um, you know, sort of move through in a in a unobstructed sort of way. And so, perhaps for this reason and and others, you know, I'm experiencing things very physically. So. One of the new things that I began experiencing is that um, I think most of you know the way that I shift. I just sort of really pleasantly, blissfully dematerialize. Things are very non-physical, or typically very non-physical, um, throughout the years of, of my experiencing these things. But you know, now they're stepping you know toward the physical, etheric, and. I've been experiencing this type of, of shift where I uh, feel these beings here in my room with me. Um, you know, we're in the etheric version of my room, but which again is very close to the physical and things are felt very physically here. Uh, there are some distinctions and differences, but you know, it's, it's very physical. Um, and you know, they're, it feels like they're literally moving me in my bed, like somebody has reached up under my arms and is 
pulling me up in the bed, you know, toward the toward the head of my bed. And then like somebody is is physically, you know, um, turning me over onto my side. And I will just lay here very passively while this happens, trying to see into detail of, of who's here. Um, you know, and sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This time I did. Uh, you know, I'll sort of be rotated in these various positions. And it generally takes three of these very physically felt type moves before I'm fully you know, out in a whole nother location. And during the, the, the event that followed this, you know, very physically felt shift, <laughs> is, uh, well, just the, I'm gonna put through just the general theme to it. I'm gonna try to make this one quicker than the last one. Uh, because I wrote this one up and I will attach the write-up in a thread where I'm going to put this all together with all the videos I make on this as well. Um, but, you know, the general theme of what happened in this out-of-body experience is that uh, um, these two beings, you know, it was two women, two entity, two female entities that were here doing this with me, you know, on this particular day, which was the night of November 11th, morning of November 12th, 2011. Uh, one of them in particular was working with me more strongly. She was taking me out into this location in order to sew a new thread of information into my thighs. For those of you who are listening to these extraterrestrial contact videos, uh, this is key because if you listen to the first video, I'm experiencing this block being held by the large muscle groups in my thighs. And so within this experience, I find this highly interesting, you know, and it's, this is probably the main thing that held my interest and helped me calm and, and neutral and really looking into what was happening here. Um, because generally when I feel things very close to the physical, when I feel them very physically, it's just too heart pounding. And, and, and again, generally I will, you know, sort of scurry off into unconsciousness. <laughs> um, but I did really good, really good through this experience. Um, I just sort of passively laid there. I could feel, you know, uh, the weight of my physical body lying there a bit more moderately than I, I do in actual physical reality, but again, close and very physical. Uh, I just laid there passively listening, sort of feigning sleep, you know, just listening and observing, you know, every once in a while, peeking an eye open to get more detail <laughs> or perhaps a specific detail um, that that helped me get. And I, you know, I felt that the passive position that I chose in this particular experience, you know, was, um, had, had big importance. You can read about that in the write-up. As this, as this woman is sewing this new thread of information into my thighs, and I'm perceiving these women as witches. Very odd sorts of being. It was a very legend-like or type uh, reality system. Um... And this is key as well. This has to do with another thing that kept coming into my awareness, you know, before the onset of my first experience, and that was a single dream I had throughout my childhood and teenage years. I had this one dream over and over and over again, but I would have it from different points. I, each day I would have, I, one day I would have it from this point to this point, and then on another day from this point to this point, but it was the same dream. It was the same lifetime. I always took this to be, you know, uh, uh, the particular lifetime. Perhaps I was having what I would perceive from here now as being just prior to this one. And I think this is related to the particular beings who visit me at the onset of the night, you know, that I'm, you know, still haven't been able to, you know, straighten out enough inside to <laughs> meet face to face but uh you know during during this event two male entities come in and 
put their sights on me and say, you know, there's not much to her, meaning not much information, but enough to eat. <laughs> I have a hard time hearing this. You know, I'm thinking to myself, eat? <laughs> Heart pump, pump, pump. Remember, I'm very, I'm, I'm experiencing myself as being very close to the physical. And so the physical um, fright, fright, central nervous system, you know, response comes out. But again, I very good. I just laid there. I didn't move. I, it seemed very crucial that I remain extremely passive. Let myself be aided by these ones here aiding me and put my full trust in the right and beneficial flow of things, you know, not get in the way. You know, um, I have the uh, uh, tendency or possibility to misperceive in here, to misunderstand, you know. Um, and anything other than the passive stance here would have just taken me away from the point of having this, this particular experience. And so I did. I remained passive the whole time. I put my trust in these, these, these helpers and, and, and just trusted that, that things would flow in the way they were meant to. And, I, and it was heart pounding, I tell you, because the, these other two male entities were, were after me to eat me the whole time. <laughs> um, and this could just, you know, have to do with, you know, feeding data, you know, just the data, the information that comes off of all of us, you know, from our own experiences. But, you know, I don't know how the, the, the wider reality, you know, really works in detail. You know, I don't know this stuff yet. And so I don't know what's... Um, what's up and what's not, um, you know, a little, barely, you know, but, you know, I'm still curious about this. And so I'm asking about, you know, what, what this meant in particular. Okay, so this was, this was my next experience after the first one, the being showed up at the onset of the night. I, you know, felt the work being done on the, the physical system. This is not going to be any shorter than the other one, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I still wasn't able to calm enough to see who the beings were and meet them face to face and gain any sort of data or, or understanding that would help me grow, but I'm going to. And as far as the, the block to this that I'm experiencing in the physical body system is being held again by the large muscle groups in my thighs was being addressed in this particular OB. A new strand of information was being sewn in, so we'll see what continues any further along this line. Should be interesting. Always, really, always. Okay, till next time. <laughs>